I'm Blue back again with another video for you guys. Today we are doing a reaction video to Lucky Days That's You. It's a music video, new single from him. This may be the first one this year. Let's actually double check. It doesn't hurt to check. Um Smoke. Oh wait, no. So all these it looks like so yeah, uh stay. Yep. So this is his first official single um, in over a year. Smoke was the last one, which is one of my favorite by Victoria Monet and him. Uh, so let's go back. And this is called Lucky Day, That's, That's You. Without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. You know, it was actually funny because it literally, it sounds like it, it literally sounds just like, um, it kind of picks up from that smoke song, uh, uh, with, um, Victoria. So it's actually, um, funny because it has that same vibe and I already know, we already know the producer behind this. I don't have to say, let's just continue. If you guys watched any of my Lucky Day reaction videos, I mean, he doesn't miss, man. Lucky Day doesn't miss, but also the producer. We'll, we gonna shout everybody out towards the end though. It sounded like uh, this could be interchangeable, and and this isn't a slight because this is a really good song. Um, so far, this could be very interchangeable with um, Bruno Mars' voice. I don't know why I hear just Bruno Mars' voice like that sound that like those harmonies just sound so much like Bruno. So I'm just curious, I'm actually really curious to know who actually wrote this too, uh, but let's continue. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm so good. I'm telling you guys, I am good. I'm so good. Bruno Mars is a writer. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, I'm good, man. And of course, now I am shocked that he is actually um, a producer on this. And then of course, we gotta give it up to the dude, D. Mile. D. Mile is a beast, man. And it's so funny because he actually, I'm not sure if he executive produced uh, Victoria's song, but um, whew, what a classic though. I mean, like, but I know that song specifically, Smoke, is by, uh, produced by him too. Let me just see. I just want to double check. Man, I'm good. Because I told you, I, that's what I was saying. Like, that sound is, it, uh, so yeah, okay. So d Mal, uh, Tim Subi, or Selby, Yogi, the producer, um, they produce that. And it, and it literally sounds very, very similar. But that, those, um, the drum fills, the da da, it kind of reminds me of, uh, And then this beat, oddly enough, just sounds like, to me, a slower version of uh, Smoke. I mean, there's different parts in it and changes that makes this song distinctively different. But though, as far as the instruments, it's just such a deep mouth signature. You know, you know it without him even having a, a producer tag, which is amazing. And hey, man, I gotta pat myself on the back for that one, man. I. This is why I love music because this is just one of those things that I absolutely love music because you can hear certain people after a while when you start listening to these artists and then the way that they write. Um, I'll, I'll go into that a little bit later. But listen. That'd be a perfect solo right there, that little. Right here. Something like that. Woo. That's gonna sound crazy live. Very, very, I like it. I like it. I think, see, what's really interesting about this song is because it's, first of all, four minutes is, is sad to say now, but four minutes is a very long time for a uh, single. And this is a very distinctive sound. This is, a, this is, um, it's not a ballad. What's the word for that? It's a little bit below a ballad um, as far as, um, it kind of does have like the smoking out the window type vibe, but it's even slower. So the tempo is a little bit slower. It's definitely like a love type ballad uh, or song. It's not a ballad, but uh, let's kind of go back to see. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, so what I was saying essentially as far as like once you once you really start to put pieces of the puzzle together, you start to say it, you start to hear certain people's influence on songs. Even if they are even if they are in the background writing or you hear like little vocals and things like that, um, background vocals and stuff. So it's really dope just to hear different things like that, um, and automatically know um who that is or who that could be because I didn't know. I mean, you know, it's really a shot in the dark when it comes down to um, these type of situations as far as like artists because artists can be influenced by other artists and sometimes writers, other writers can be influenced by artists. Um, so they try to bring that to, you know, 
it could be it could be just as close as Bruno writing with him or for him to somebody being influenced and trying to write like Bruno and bringing it to um, uh, Lucky Day. So it kind of plays on that. But I was going to say earlier before um, the video ended, it's it's the same thing with James Fontenoy. Like I know his writing like the back of my hand is um, and the beat choices that he and he that he makes is um, uh, is is very unique. Like for instance, the uh, no complaints with Omarion. Like when I first heard that, I said, "This is James Fontenoy." I wasn't even trying. It must have been weed from flying. Cause I called a little angel. She was nothing like a stranger. She knew me. Dun, 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 dun. That is such a James Fox Leroy beat. Whatever's going on, I don't know. Um, and then you, of course, you hear him in the background a little bit too, if you pay attention close enough. But check that out too. But this is my lucky day. Bringing it back to him, I actually like this. I'm just very cur curious to see how we how we hear this in real time as far as like um, on the radio. Like now, granted, I know radio is not the same as it was when I was growing up, where that's that was the primary source of uh, listening to music or you know breaking new music, uh, but to me, this doesn't sound like a. Uh, this just, this doesn't sound like a radio hit, uh, per se. And that's not a bad thing. Per, that's not a bad thing at all. Actually, it's just kind of just what it is. You know, it, it just it just doesn't sound like a. It doesn't sound like a roast some more. It doesn't sound like a over, because um, you know over we get that that classic uh, half crazy sample. So it kind of, that's a single, that's a solid single as far as uh, marketing wise. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is just, my allergies are killing me, but uh, allergy, <laughs> uh, marketing wise, that makes sense. Those two songs make sense. This one is a excellent dope song. I just, I'm just, mentally trying to find i'm having trouble figuring out where this actually um turns into that radio single that we need from him we ever we ever heard from him you know as far as again like features and stuff like that he's been pretty active uh so he's been on the scene but i'm just curious to know where he goes from here the the writing is just amazing the sound the song Everything about it is amazing. So I'm not taking anything away from it. But you guys let me know in the comments where you guys hear this. Where do you guys hear this song being played? Um, as far as like on a regular day-to-day -day, uh, vibe, you guys let me know in the comments. Of course, it's on all platforms, so it's easy to say that. But do you guys hear this possibly playing uh, at the grocery store? Uh, maybe I could see it maybe Forever 21 type type of thing. Um, but you guys let me know in the comments. I'm just really curious to know where where, where we go with this marketing-wise. Um, oftentimes, you can hear it right off the bat, and, and that can be cheesy. So I like the fact that this is like, this is almost like, could, this could be just like, hey, I'm back with my own song. Um, listen to it. Cause this is what you guys know me for a straight R&B and then he may be coming out with that radio hit with the next one I don't know but like I said let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like share subscribe to the channel this is the only channel where you're going to be getting videos like this guitar lessons guitar covers unboxings and of course these reaction videos until next time peace